Hey, what's up, guys? It's Coach Rudy, and I'm so um, excited. I just put together and, and completed the um, uh, training nutrition form for you guys this week, and I'm really excited to, to walk you guys through that. So make sure you grab your journals and your pen. Uh, you want to make some uh, great notes. I got my hot cup of um, lemon tea. I forgot what flavor I had in there. So let's rock and roll, guys. I'm going to share my screen here, and you guys will see the PowerPoint. And uh, today's topic, this week's topic, is actually really, really important. Um, we're going to be talking about let me open this up here. Current slide. Digestive health. Okay, so this is an important topic. Eight out of 10 adults have some kind of a digestive GI uh, gastrointestinal uh, issue or challenge or compromise. Um, so you wanna make sure you take down some good notes and uh, we're gonna show you why this is such an important part in terms of your weight loss and your body transformation, okay? So let's get started, let's get rolling. I got quite a bit to walk you guys through today. So as you guys know, um, or may not know, my name is Rudy, I'm actually uh, right here in Toronto at this time and place. Um, and I've been coaching for over 11 years. Uh, a good part of those years were out in Los Angeles and uh, you know, took and been mentored by the best, worked with some uh, professional athletes, Olympic athletes, and I'm, all, I'm able to give you what I'm giving you guys today because I, uh, what's been given to me and, and mentored uh, through me, and I'm passing this on to you now. And you guys see here in terms of um, uh, when I came to Toronto, we had a body transformation challenge for the entire greater Toronto area, and I was able to, you know, I thought it would be fun, and I was able to come in and place first uh, in that challenge over a 90 day period. So a lot of what I'm sharing with you guys over the next few weeks in these nutrition forums or what I'm actually doing in my life um, and all my other clients to get the best transformation and best results. So I love this quote here and you wanna write this down. The food you eat can either be the safest, most powerful form of medicine or the slowest form of poison, okay? I am a proponent where, you know, if there's a way that we can get nutrition in your body, um, and fuel in your body. You know, Herbalife is basically engineered superfoods, okay? Um, and, and move you away from the synthetic side in terms of medication and prescription drugs. And I, I think that's legalized. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, I want to be careful about what I say here, but I know more doctors would, who've killed more people with medicine than food ever will and, or ever have. So the idea here is to give you guys a knowledge base where you can be able to put the proper fuels in your body. And this week, what we're gonna be talking about is your digestive system because all these foods that you put in your mouth, guess where it goes through? It goes through your, the same digestive tract. You only have one. It goes through the same digestive tract. And if that's not working properly, that's a big deal, okay? Um, so you might wanna take, uh, take some notes down here. Intestines are really important because it's in here where all your foods get broken down, uh, your nutrients and, 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 and energy get ex uh, gets extracted and available to your body. It steers unwanted waste out of the body, okay? Um, as you can see, it's like, a, it's like a processing center, right? You get all these raw materials coming in, you get a finished product coming out, and you have byproducts that you need to, that you need to eliminate. Okay, um, so the intestines have a really, really important role in terms of your physiological health. It's also a key player in your immunity. Um, the, the cell linings in your digestive tract help protect your, your body against bacterial and viral invaders. Um, and so you may not know this, but your digestive system is the biggest threat for immune uh, a, a viral attack or bacterial attack that you that you have okay it's the biggest threat okay write that down underline it circle it put a star beside it um, it's real so if you if you have weak immune system what that correlates to what that uh, what that um, you know, means based on what I'm just sharing, what I've just shared with you is that you have an issue or a weak digestive system. Does that make sense? Um, so, you know, you have over 30 feet of intestines in your stomach and uh, in your body. You got your small intestines where the majority of digestion takes place and absorption of nutrients takes place. Um, and what really facilitates that is, is fiber. Uh, we're going to be talking more about that uh, in a few minutes. But as you can see here, you know, the average adult consumes about 14 grams of fiber per day, okay? Not quite enough. 
Um, you know, males, you need just under 40 grams of fiber per day. And females, you need about 25 grams of fiber per day. Um, and that's very, very important. And we're gonna be, I'm going to be explaining why here in a second. Now, your intestines and your digestive tract is also like what we call your second brain. You know where that, that cliche is? Um, you know, that, I, my gut feeling. Why does your gut have a feeling? Isn't that interesting? Um, you know, your gut is actually, it, it communicates a lot through your central nervous system with your brain, and it serves as your body's second brain. So uh, it's like a, 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 a warning system or alert system. Uh, for instance, if you're eating something that you shouldn't have, uh, you know, that's why when people, that's why when people are stressed and they are upset, they want to eat. And I don't mean eat good, you know, good things. They want to eat ice cream and cheesecake and chocolate, and you know, um, it, 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 that's that's the reason why. So you need to be able to harness and also discipline uh, the two brains to make sure that it's serving your greater good and, and, and greater purpose in terms of what you want to do for your health. Okay. So how do we all t how do we tie this all together? What you eat. And the way you live your life influences the health of your digestive system. Okay, it's very important because everything you put in your mouth goes through the same tunnel. Okay, tunnel of intestines. A nutrient-rich, balanced diet will help nourish all your body cells. And this is what we're talking about here, here in Herbalife, right? We in Herbalife, we have cellular nutrition. We're feeding those cells in your body. It's not just taking powders, drinking shakes, and 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 and, and having fun. Well, that's that's part of it too. But there's so much more science to science. Uh, science to that um, and this uh, you know what we really want to focus on a big it's always been a big focus of mine and a big focus of us to make sure that you guys understand the significance of your diet digestive tract you know uh, adequate fl uh, fiber fluids and exercise will help you keep you regular um, and also helps take care of that second brain that we talked about right by keeping your stress levels so you want to be able to keep your stress levels down so that your gut is not binging at chalk for chocolate at uh, 11 o'clock at night uh, just because you're stressed. You know, I, uh, I'm not pointing fingers because I know I've, I've gone through this before, uh, with myself in the past. Why are we such emotional eaters? And this is the reason why, okay? So my first tip for you guys, I want to write this down. Let me have a quick sip of my tea here. You want to up your insoluble fiber intake, okay? This is what we call roughage. Um, this isn't broken down by the body, but absorbs water and adds bulk um, as it goes through your intestines, okay? This type of fiber is typically found in vegetables, bran, most whole grains. Um, it helps to speed the passage of waste through your digestive system, which keeps you regular. Now remember, a couple of main functions your digestive system has, right? It needs to, number one, break down and, and, and absorb the nutrients out of extract the nutrients from, uh, from the foods that you're eating and, 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 and assimilating it into, into your bloodstream. The second thing, that's, that's getting the raw materials in and then, and then uh, processing it and giving your body the final product, right? But your body, but, your, but also needs to eliminate the byproducts in this, in this processing. And so this insoluble fiber will allow your body to also get the second uh, primary function in, ch in check by making sure that you're regular. If you're eating three times a day, you need to be pooping three times a day, okay? I'm very regular. Um, I'm not going to put this on Facebook, but I don't mind telling you guys. Um, you know, usually when I'm eating, within an hour, hour and a half tops, I'm in the restroom and I'm, and I'm, and, and I'm uh, eliminating the byproduct, okay? It's in you. If you ate, if you put food in your mouth, it's in you. It didn't just disappear, okay? Um, this is not Peter Pan here, you know? Um, if you eat all these foods and food-like uh, substances, you have these byproducts in your, in, your, in, 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 in your body. And just because you didn't poop it out doesn't mean that it, that it mysteriously disappeared. Big problem, um, and, and it's more than just an, an inconvenience. It's more than just uh, discomfort. It's a big issue, okay? So uh, tip number two is soluble fiber. Um, this is found in food in foods like apple, like fruits, uh, oranges, oats, barley, and beans. It thickens up and swells up uh, when, it, when it comes into contact in, uh, with liquid. Um, and it helps swallow the watery environment in your stomach to help feel, uh, make you feel full. Um, it also serves as a prebiotic, which means that it encourages the growth of good bacteria in your digestive tract. So 
Um, again, soluble fiber is very, very impo important along with insoluble fiber. The insoluble fiber pushes the byproduct. The soluble fiber helps promote the, the other primary function of your, of your intestines, which is to help break the foods down and, and extract the, uh, the, uh, the nutrients out of the foods that you're eating. So fiber serves both purposes in terms of the, uh, the main functions um, in your digestive tract, both soluble and insoluble, and you want to make sure that you up your fiber intake. Okay, tip number three is microbacteria. So I'm not going to kill you guys with like scientific terms and, and, and microbiome and, and all that stuff. So basically what this means is that your body needs uh, 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 this microbacteria to help promote the, 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 the efficient extraction of nutrients and, 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 and help with the production of certain vitamins to protect the health of your digestive tract. Remember what we just talked about in soluble fiber? Well, soluble fiber leads to uh, leads to, 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 to microbacteria, but at the, you also want to be able to up the num the, the, the amount of uh, good bacteria in your stomach. Um, and so this this helps keeps out you know kills out for, uh, dangerous foreign invaders uh, such as uh, viruses and, 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 and bacteria. Um, and uh, it's is is important okay in terms of your uh, digestive health so you want to make sure you get this into your system also and i'm going to be talking about where you can get that tip number four stress and exercise uh, re uh stress reduction and exercise as your muscles contract your breathing deepens during the activity um and, and these natural con uh, contractions uh of your intestine muscles are stimulated also if I don't know if you ever have done this, but um, if you ever felt like constipated and you can't poop, try going for a bike ride for, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. You probably, you know, chances are by the when you get back in, you will probably go to the bathroom and, and drop a bomb in there. Um, and the reason for that is because uh, when you're exercising, the muscle contractions help stimulate uh, within your body um, and specifically within your core, help stimulate the, the contractions also in, in your intestines. And so these contractions are, are like squeezing like the, uh, the, uh, 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 the, the pig brain through the hot dog, uh, you know, through the pig skin when you're making a wieners and hot dogs. You know, I'm, you know, I'm just trying to give you that analogy here, uh, a visual here. So it's pushing the, the byproduct out. So when you're, when you're engaging your core and you're, and you're, and you're, and you're uh, uh, going through muscle contractions, I sound like I'm going to a Lamaze class now, something like that, but um, it, it's gonna help push the, the, the poop out, right? So uh, exercise is great for your health, it, it helps. We're gonna be talking about exercise one of these weeks, but specific to digestive health, exercise is very, very important because it helps uh, with getting your, your, your body, number one, active, but it also gets your core, your gut, uh, your stomach, your intestines uh, to contract and, and, and activate. Um, so, you know, it's sort of like giving your, 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 um, your dead battery, you know, it's probably, it's winter time, it's minus 40 outside, uh, you haven't started the car in a week and you can't crank the engine when you turn, when you turn the, the ignition. Well, exercise is going to give your, 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 your battery kind of a jump start. Okay. Um, I hope that analogy helps. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're, you're, you're at least getting your exercise uh, throughout the week. Um, and one of the benefits of that is also is going to help promote your regularity. Tip number five. Now, this is such a, uh, an important, important tip that I've decided to make it like one of the top five. Okay. Um, our herbal aloe concentrate. This is the bomb. Okay. Now I just came back from LA. Okay. It's like the, the yoga yogi central of the, the universe. Uh, you know, we have as many yoga shops and, and yogi, uh, people practicing yoga there as, as any, as, as coffee shops as, and Starbucks. Um, and, 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 and it's all about like, I don't want to say that they're, they're like hippies or, or flower ch uh, children and whatnot, but they're very, very, um, uh, liberated, liberated in, in their thought, and a big part of that culture is they love taking that their herbal aloe. So while I was out there, I had a lot of clients that have a lot of issues with their, uh, their digestion, and a lot of people who also have experience taking aloe. Uh, I had clients like high, you know, pretty, you know, high-profile clients. Uh, I can't. I'm not going to give them any names or anything, but you know, uh, they were going through uh, Crohn's disease. Um, they, they had severe bouts of irritable bowel syndrome. Um, they, you know, anything from, um, even like the mild, you know, 
model cases of where uh, of a constipation and 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 whatnot um but you know Crohn's disease is pretty pretty painful and pretty pretty uh uh, uh significant um nothing ever really helped any of these people okay we've had so many aloe products in the marketplace um you know a lot of my clients out out west um they've taken tried aloe from trader joe's from costco from gnc from they, they just know people know that intuitively they know that aloe is good for them and they got to take it in them until they try the herbal life aloe concentrate holy cow what a difference okay this is a concentrate it's a it's a, it's a write this down it's a digestive tonic okay it's not diluted aloe it's a concentrated aloe uh the, the, the cellular nutrition okay it's it's um the active what we're done is we're act uh, taking the active ingredients and the uh, out of the aloe plant there's over 47 healing properties to aloe aloe also kills bacteria okay um and so when you consistently drink your herbal aloe every single day it helps in, in terms of a proactive preventative measure repairs uh, uh protects and helps safeguards the well-being of your intestines which is the number one what threat for what viral invaders okay um and so uh this aloe has no laxative properties to it you know the aloe drinks that you get in the marketplace have both some of the cleansing and healing properties to it, but they also have the laxative properties to it. So when you drink that aloe, you're gonna go poop, right? But it's 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 a catch twenty two. You don't wanna you don't wanna poop because you got a laxative in your system. You wanna poop because you actually got a poop, right? Uh, and your and your intestines are working properly. So we've extracted the laxative properties. Uh, we've magnified and, and concentrated the, uh, the the cleansing and the healing properties to it. You, once you taste this aloe, you won't go back, okay? Uh, we have it in cranberry and we have it in mango. Uh, I firmly believe everyone should be taking this. I add it to my water and I'm drinking like mango flavored water all day. For those people who have trouble eating, drinking water because they don't like the taste of water, try this, okay? It's gonna, you, you, you're gonna thank uh, yourself for, for, for putting this into your system. Um, and it's really gonna help with the self um, cleansing of your intestines. Um, we also have the 21 day cleanse and this is only available to our American US clients um, This is a, a 21 day detox and so I'm talking to you guys in the US um, For every, you want to do a detox every three uh, Three quarters so three months so every quarter every change of seasons you want to do a cleanse uh, of your of your intestines I've had people lose seven pounds just on the cleanse here alone um, and you just take a couple of the AM formula when you wake up with a glass of water a couple of the pm um it helps flush out your pipes it's not it's not going to blow out your pipes okay so i don't want you guys to have that analogy where you're just like you know running to the restroom and and, and uh, uh trying to trying to make it before the explosion um it's it's a gentle uh flush um but you are going to get regular and uh uh, what's great is that, you know, all that stuff that comes out, <laughs> it was sitting in you at one point. So, um, this is great for, I actually, for my American clients, whenever I have a new client starting on Herbalife, I will get them started on the 21 day cleanse also just to get them started. Like, uh, it's kind of giving your engine a flush. Okay. Um, and if you, if you, if you've never given your engine a flush, you want to do that at one point. Next, we have the fluorofiber. This again um, uh, is great to have in both Canada and the U.S. Um, it's a, it, it has both soluble and insoluble fiber. It comes in a tablet form. Uh, it's great, and uh, you know uh, it's a great solution to to, to help up your uh, uh, insoluble and soluble fiber intake. So this is both available in Canada and U.S. However. Um, this apple fiber, uh, let me tell you about this. The thing I love the most about this apple fiber is the taste. Oh my goodness. I'm not an apple, apple person, okay? Um, I don't need to, to eat apple pie. However, when I made this apple fiber complex, uh, like in the, in the evening, um, and, I, and, and, and I drink it down, it tastes so good. Oh my goodness. Um, it, again, this provides you both uh, soluble and insoluble fiber, promotes regularity, minimizes bloating, 
Um, and uh, this is this is I know a lot of women have issues with that because the female digestive system is a lot more sensitive than the men. Um, so if you have experience, let me talk to you guys who are uh, a little bit more gaseous. Okay, I'm not going to name any names, but I get a lot of messages every day that you know what my husband might leave me because I'm I'm, I'm farting under the blankets. Um, if you have problems with gas, that's a natural byproduct of, remember we just talked about byproduct, right? That's a natural byproduct of your body breaking down proteins, right? And so the, the solution is not to eliminate proteins because proteins are a necessary macronutrient that your body needs to be able to maintain and build a, a lean muscle tissue. The solution is to, 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 to neutralize your intestines so that your intestines are a lot um, less uh what's the word i'm looking for not explosive but uh uh, uh reactive to the uh, to the proteins that you're putting in your body uh because protein's a macronutrient right protein meaning big i mean macro meaning big so if you take your 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 aloe concentrate and you have this apple fiber with the aloe concentrate uh either with or before your shakes uh is really going to help you with the uh with the um the gas chamber okay and perhaps save your marriage so um take a look at this this is a great solution we have this uh, both in the u.s and canada again the, the, for me the biggest things i love how it tastes I, it, it's almost like it's it's ridiculous I, I i don't think that it should be healthy for you because uh who, who knew uh, eating something so tasty and so tasted so good could be uh, could actually be healthy for you um and, and next we have the cell activator now, this is a nutrient powerhouse. We talked about this last week in terms of the, uh, a digestive enzyme uh, that you want to put in your body to help promote uh, 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 healthy digestion. This has uh, alpha lipoic acid, which is one of the most potent antioxidants that's both water and oil soluble. Uh, so it works in both the water, which is in the blood, and oil, which is you know where, uh, in your body to help uh, provide ant, ant, uh, oxidate, uh, oxidation protection uh, throughout your body. It's the only water oil uh, soluble um, uh, uh, antioxidant, okay? Uh, in my work with professional athletes, athletes pay a lot of money to put uh, the ingredients that we have in a cell activator by itself into their, into their daily routine. People have athletes that would buy alpha lipoic acid by itself. Um, and take tablets and, and powder form of uh, AL, ALC, uh, which is not cheap, okay? Um, the, and, and, and in here, we also have the aloe we just talked about. We have rondiola bark. Uh, we have uh, uh, a, a couple of other herbs, but uh, it, it also every capsule has a full shiitake mushroom in it, okay, in terms of uh, uh, a, a providing antioxidants for your, for your digestive system. And so if you take all the ingredients by itself, okay and you shop for it by itself it's going to cost you an arm and a leg i never knew that it was all in here in a small little capsule uh, that we call cell activator like i said this is a digestive enzyme and it's a nutrient powerhouse um if you if you haven't tried it i would suggest taking a look at it and getting adding this into your into your daily routine um, so that's all I have for you, for you guys in the digestive system. Um, I'm going to stop share here and the digestive system. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, please go ahead and uh, comment down in the comment section. And I'm going to post a couple of links here on this video at the end here. Um, uh, on the top, on the top left, I'm going to give you guys the, the link for our first week where we talked about uh, protein and anabolic timing and nutrient timing. On the bottom left, I'm going to uh, we suggest for you guys to su subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be posting a lot of uh, valuable tools and, 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 and info and, 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 and uh, cool stuff for you guys that the ladies can take away. At the top right, I'm going to provide another link from last week's training for our metabolism, five tips on, uh, to jumpstart your metabolism. I hope this message and this training has helped you and, and help open up some uh, uh, clarity for you in terms of the importance of your digestive system. If you have any comments again, please comment below. Okay, take care for now. Bye.